Yo, what's up? It's Takoyaki Boys here, and today I was going to do a little bit of a different video. I'm actually going to talk about a recent news item that came out of Japan, Kyoto in particular, about Kyoto banning tourists from parts of a geisha district amid reports of bad behavior. Now, we all know that bad behavior has been kind of circling around Japan as of late, especially with the recent influx of certain vloggers that seem to think that Japan is just this gigantic theme park with like no rules attached to them. And I just kind of wanted to give my input on this, um, especially being a Japan YouTuber, you know. Uh, I thought this was kind of an interesting topic because I do feel like it's kind of justified, but it's also like, oof, you know, like it's a, it's a pretty harsh uh, repercussion for all of this. I feel like let, let's just get the elephant in the room out first, you know, like why are they doing this? As of late, uh, in December, uh, Council of Gion residents urged the city's government to take action against unruly tourists, complaining that their neighborhood was not a theme park. Like I said, people think Japan is a theme park. Residents of Japan's ancient capital have struggled to reconcile the financial boost from a return to pre-pandemic visitor numbers with overcrowding and incidents of bad behavior. Let's just get out of the room. What is a geisha first, right? So I've got the most trustworthy source here in front of me, Wikipedia. Geisha. I think I'm, I'm, think I'm pronouncing it correctly. Geisha or geisha? 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 I don't know. Also known as geiko or geigi. Uh, are female Japanese performing artists and entertainers trained in traditional Japanese performing art styles such as dance, music, and singing, as well as being proficient as well as being proficient conversationalists and hosts. Their distinct appearance is characterized by long trailing kimono, traditional hairstyles, and oshiroi makeup. I actually saw a couple of them walk around when I was in Kyoto. Geisha are performers are entertainers. They are professionals at their job. It's like a like a deep-rooted Japanese cultural thing. <laughs> so one of the reasons why they decided to do this says right here, Ota, which um, I assume is Isokazu Ota, an executive member of the council. He said that groups of tourists sometimes act like paparazzi when geisha emerge from narrow streets, which are just one or two meters wide. Well, I've actually been to that particular street to Gion. I haven't actually been inside of a bar, but I've just been walking around there because I'm, I'm autistic and I don't drink. So I just wanted to see it, okay? But yeah, obviously, you know, if you're already in such a tight spot and it's already a bit crowded and people just fucking flock to you like birds, it's gonna cause a lot of just uncomfortableness. And here, even in 2019, the Gion District Council put up signs saying no photography on private roads, warning of fines of up to 10,000 yen, which is about 70 euro or something. Despite common misconceptions, geishas are not prostitutes, but rather entertainers and raconteurs, highly skilled in traditional Japanese dance, musical instruments and games. And yeah, obviously it goes into, you know, after the pandemic, uh, tourism has been booming, which is good. I mean, their economy is kind of in the dust right now, I feel like. Again, it's just so annoying that people think that Japan is just this giant theme park. Like, it's just another country. Those people are also normal people, you know? So just fucking leave them alone, my dude. One member previously told Japanese media about an instance of a Maiko's kimono being torn and another who had a cigarette butt put in her collar. Like, why? Would people actually do this in their home country? I don't think so. They're really just abusing the fact that Japanese culture and the people are so naive and timid. And I feel like it just makes for horrible situations like this. The people taking pictures of the streets of Gion on the main street and the tourists taking pictures of Geisha from afar are probably unaware of the rule against photography. But I think the foreign tourists waiting for Geisha to come out in the alleys of Gion's photography prohibited areas know the rules but are ignoring them. Even if we warn tourists, it is difficult to get through to them at this point. I feel like that's the most annoying part, you know? I... I I feel like it is perfectly justified what they do here. As annoying as it is, uh, if you want to go to Japan and you love drinking, you love going out, you're going to Kyoto and you want to experience this, you know, it's always just a handful of people ruining it for the majority, right? And in this case, you just got to hope that that little minority of people who have been here and done this terrible shit actually feel like guilty because an entire district is now just locked off to them. I'm sure they had a great time there, you know, 
and now they can't go back there because they fucked up. Kyoto isn't the only area in Japan cracking down on tourists. The local government for Mount Fuji has also voted to impose limits on daily climbers and charged them a fee as well as a place new guides on the mountain to manage safety and enforce etiquette. So after the whole pandemic has blown over, Japan has definitely boomed in popularity and in tourism, which is obviously like really good for the country, but it's kind of biting them in the ass at the same time. So what do I think about this whole ordeal? I think it's perfectly justified, you know? I, I think this is just, like, what else can they do? And I feel like the most annoying part about this whole ordeal is that I think a lot of these people are influenced by those disgusting, horrible people that go there and, you know, vlog there, harassing the people there. I'm not gonna name any names, obviously. I don't have to shit on them. I think the entire internet has done that already. I feel like you know who I'm talking about. So there you have it, a little update on Japan. Uh, I actually kind of want to do this more often. If I, you know, see an interesting news item from Japan, I could just cover it, give my opinion, and then you can go on with your day, you know? I get more content, you get more content. Boom, big idea. Let me know what you think down below about this entire ordeal with, you know, our friendly tourists going to the place and ruining it for everybody. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Sayonara.